Yeah, okay, yeah. so let's yeah, uh, yeah. let's kick off then. So Exposag, who, who who's involved in Exposag? Um, that was Limited. My father, um, as representing Murdoch Mackenzie Limited, John Scott as an individual, of course, structural engineer. There was John Laurie, artist and a McCartney painters from Glasgow. Um, they provided the grip blasting expertise and certain other things in connection with, with the operation. And so that uh, uh, we start at Ma in Mackenzie's yard in, in, in Motherwell. So what are you doing here? Are you, you, uh, my understanding is you're testing the equipment that you're going to I take to I think that's probably owner, basically that right? what was being done, yes, yeah. I think so. Well, we obviously had to make sure at the time that everything was as it should be. Yeah, because I think... Because um, you couldn't send back for other things, you yeah. see, so you had to have everything with you. So you took all the equipment to we erect the cross? Yes, yeah. yes. Because that's yeah. just what it says, three somethings of a tonne. So you're testing the ability of that equipment to yes. yeah, lift, yes. the, lift yes. the cross. Yes, and then um, we then moved to, to, to Edinburgh, to, to Borthwick's yard. So this is where the cross has actually been cast, hasn't it? Yes. They've, the made, they've made the concrete cast. Yes. Uh -huh. cross. Yeah. My understanding uh, is actually it, there's five bits to it. There's the two bits of the shaft, the two bits of the cross head, and the bit that goes uh, on the top. There were six pieces, actually. Right, what's the sixth? Well, the sixth was the, the bit that goes, it's hidden from you. Ah, the hidden bit. Yes, yeah, of course. Yes, the yeah. hidden bit. Yeah. yeah. And that's Stuart the Cruden, isn't it? Is that yes, it is. The, the original cross was in seven pieces. There were the four quadrants of the ring, mm -hmm. and there were the other three bits, including the, 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 the top. Um, that's, uh, that, that's basically what the, what the original, yeah, what was it? Was size seven, seven pieces, yes. Yeah. So yeah. what's being done here? The cross has been cast, yes. and what's actually happening in the yard, and why are all these people coming to have a look? Um, this was just the first time the cross had actually been raised. So it's yeah. come out of the... It, it, it come out of its, 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 uh, the, the moulds in which it was cast, and it was, uh, it was being you know, just um, assembled for the first time. Okay, and the people. So from yes. we've, we've talked about this before, yeah. but the yeah. people who who were here, we've yeah. got the we've, we've got John we've Laurie. We've got John Laurie. We've got John Scott. Um, we've got my father. Um, we've got one or two Borthwick people. Um, I think Stuart Cruden was there. So Stuart Cruden's the sort of inspector of ancient monuments. Yes, he was so the inspector, and Norman Robertson, the guy with the red hair, was his deputy, I think. Yeah, and it's Norman who was involved with George Mancini, wasn't he? Yes, I would think so, yes. Yeah, yeah. In making the original yeah. gesso model that yeah, they yes, cast yeah. from. Yeah. And there's I quite a few women. Who are the women hanging around? A, well, one of them will be Mrs. Borthwick, I think. Um, one is my mother, of course. Uh -huh. um, now, I'm not sure who else. Yeah. There's a sense that it's quite an occasion that a lot of yes, people come well, along I mean, to it, see. It, it, it was, I think, yes. I mean, we all kind of regarded it as being very much an occasion, I think, because it was, it was nothing we had, something we had never done before. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a bit of, well, family history in a <laughs> sense, too. Yeah. I'm interested to know what was in the minds of the, of the craftsmen involved. I mean, uh, one's called Tam Day and the other's Jackie Drysdale, yes, these yes. men who worked for... Um, yeah, for Borthwick. For Borthwick, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You no, know, because they were involved at an earlier stage in the process than, than, than I only came into it, you know, when it came to, well, this stage you're seeing here. So the men from Borthwick, this is them seeing the, the product of their, yes, of their labours. Yes, yes, and, uh, uh -huh. and they, they presumably assisted George Mancini and John Laurie uh, in making the, 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 the various moulds and yeah. casting the, the, the cross. Um, that, that's just the... the, 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 the the base, the base the, not the base, sorry, that's the, f the first part of the shaft. So that's the bit that's, that's now that's hidden the under the ground. Yes, yes, uh-huh, yeah. Looks, you get a real mm. sense of the scale, don't you, when you look at it in the yard? Yeah. Well, the whole mm. thing's about seven, just over seven feet tall. I love this image, the proud, the proud yes. engineer and the proud people who've made it, put it together. Yes, yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Um, the, the cross is, I think it's just over seven feet tall and it's about roughly seven feet across the arms. Yeah. You can see just how heavy it is and how carefully yeah. they're having to to yeah. handle it. Yeah. So at this stage, they're presumably they, they, they've seen it that upright, and they're now just sort of packing it to go to Iona. Is yes, that right? is that yes, what they're doing? Mm, yes, mm, yeah. 
so it's got quite a journey to make. So how did it, it actually travel from Edinburgh to it there? Was, it was taken by a lorry, mm -hmm. um, which presumably we organised. That's Ian Scott. And, his and it was taken and delivered to the Glenlight Shipping Company in Ayr uh, for onward transmission to, to Iona, along with the annual coal supply. Yeah, and, I, and for my archival research, I gather that Glenlight Shipping Company actually did this for free. They transported yes, it for you free. Yes, you said yeah, that. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, that's something I hadn't appreciated myself until now. So there's a lot of work to be done to sort of carefully pack it up. Yes, yes. Had they already made the second copy? They made two copies, didn't they, of, the <laughs> of it in case there well, was any yes, I mean, Had, the had the they already made the second copy at this stage? Uh, yes, I think, uh, oh yes, I think so. I think I'm, I'm assuming that they were both cast at the same time. Mm. I think that would be the logical sequence mm. of events. So the 30th yes. of May to the 6th of June, mm -hmm. this is when you arrive on Iona? Yes, that's right, yes. It was, was it a Friday, the 30th of May. Yeah. I think it may be, yes, it must have been, I think. And that's St Columbus Shrine with no St John's Cross. Yes, yes, uh huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is that your dad in the yellow? Uh, no, uh, uh, well, or is it? Um, no, I'm not actually very yeah. sure. So what's happening? Yes. There's a lot of work that's being done to yes. prepare the ground before yeah. the replica cross is well, put Well, Stuart in. Cruden's team, you see, did much of the preparation because they, they, they had actually excavated the, uh, the, the base of the, of, of, the, of the original cross, you see. And the, the, the stones were simply just laid back in place. Because uh, of course it's going, the replica's going where the original had stood. Oh yes, it, 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 yeah. exactly, in the, in the same place, yes, mm -hmm. as, as the original, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on, on exactly the same site. So you're... So we had to lift out the, 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 the three, um, I think they were mill, well, I th one, uh, they were both probably mill, mill stones. So was the idea that mm. all the original stonework had to be taken away and then what foundations are being dug for yes, the concrete? Yes, yes, uh -huh, yeah. Um, what, what, what's yes. the piece that goes underneath? The, all, all the visible, invisible yeah. stuff that nobody yes. sees today. Yeah, how that, that's right, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? The foundations, basically. Foundations, yeah. These are big, mm. they're big stones. These are part of the... They were very big stones, yes. Uh -huh. Box-like structure that exists yes, around yes, the base uh -huh. of the stone. Yeah, and to think that these had been there, you know, since the original cross was put up in the what, 8th century. Yeah. You know, it's remarkable. So how did all these men feel about working with these ancient remains? I think they were very favourably impressed. I mean, I, I, as indeed was I. I mean, it was, uh, it was quite something. It was so unusual. And who's all involved here? Who, who are the people in the that were seen working on the foundations, working on the? Uh, well, the that's house? my father and. Your father in the hat, I think. Isn't yes, it? yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then there's John and Scott, the John, engineer. John Scott, the engineer. He he was fussing about. Um, <laughs> fussing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he was. I mean, he, <laughs> he, ke he kept everybody under control. Um, rightly so too. I mean, that was his. That was his function. Because I mean, he he had yeah. spent a long time designing yeah. something very carefully yes. that was oh, going yes. to withstand yeah. uh -huh. yeah, the that's, weather that's in, in in Iona. Mm. Yeah. So uh, Jock is who? Jo Jock Logan. That's uh, and, and that's um, Joe Finlay that you see there. And the other one's Remo. Remo Tonietti, Yes. Yeah. So yeah. what did? Why are they there, and what did what did well they do? Well, they, they were the do? three men that my father um, selected for for actually doing the work. But why did why did he pick them? Um, because he reckoned that they were the best people that we had for for that kind of job, and I think he was right. Yeah. Um, he was a very good judge of of what he needed. So, what sort of things would they normally have been doing then? I mean, this is presumably a very unusual project for them to have been. Well, involved yes. In. I mean, Jock, Jock Logan was a labourer. Mm -hmm. a general um, um, dog's body, I suppose, mm -hmm. on construction sites. Um, Remo Tonietti was a, 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 a concrete, concrete finisher. Um, so he was a kind of skilled tradesman. Mm -hmm. uh, and Joe Filney was the foreman. Yeah. That's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped it so we can have a look at that. Yeah, that's no, a lovely picture of that's her. That's my mum, yeah. yes, yes. Uh -huh. 
Yes, I, yes, yes, I'm struck by the way in which they work so efficiently as a team. Well, that I'm was... I'm very fast. I'm very, uh, very dexterous. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that was perhaps, you know, my father is, is responsible for that because I think, he, you know, he knew what he wanted and uh, he knew the men he wanted. Mm -hmm. So um, I say they, they worked very well as a team. Yeah. So how much work yeah. would they have done before they came to the island and started the process of, er of erecting the cross? How much work would they have put into the planning of how they uh, would do Not a great deal because... Um, that that was basically the ch uh, responsibility of John Scott. Um, he, I think, did much of the behind the scenes work and yeah, you know, so in conjunction with my father, of course, obviously, uh, they worked very closely together. So that means a lot of the logistics, how they're actually doing things on the ground, they're having to yeah. adapt to, to circumstances. Is that, is that what's happening? But they've obviously yeah. brought all this equipment with them, so they've, yes. known, what well, to, they've known what to bring. And as, as the contractor, my father mm. is, was ultimately responsible for, for, for most of that. Mm. Uh, in fact, you're in the shot here, aren't you? That's yeah. So you weren't always behind the I camera? No, I wasn't always behind mm. the camera. I mean, I did let my father have a shot mm. occasionally. <laughs> 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 and, and sometimes one or two others, yeah. yes, yes. But, but basically, yes, I was behind the camera most mm. of the time. So this is a hard job, basically removing yes. all the original structure yes, of the, yes. the base I mean of that, that millstone, cross. that must have been very heavy. Yes. Um, the, the one that was hidden below, underneath it, you know, what wasn't perhaps just quite as big, but the one that was on top, you know, that mm. must have been a very... Because, I mean, these were support, used to support the original cross. Mm. You know, you know, what they were originally intended for, I don't know. Now, what's yeah. what are these boxes, these metal boxes that we see in several of the shots? Um, sorry, I'm not sure. They're blue metal iron iron boxes. Oh, here we are at the, yes. um, what we're at now, what's now the jewellery shop, aren't we? And there's a concrete mixer. What's, what's the story of the concrete mixer? Well, that was hired from, Duddy, from Donald and Doody McFadden. Um, it was his, uh, his concrete mixer. That's him on the tractor. Yes, yeah. yes, it will. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, uh -huh, that's Judy. No, it was his concrete mixer that we used because oh, uh, he was our kind of contractor, if you like, subcontractor on the island. You see, so he was a very helpful, and very resourceful bloke. Was Judy, and he's about to get married. He's doing a lot of work. Yes, well, that's right. You. I mean, he was to get married within the week. Yeah, and there's the there's the puffer arising at long last. So that's Martyrs Bay, and there's yes, all these tractors yes. here. So what's the story? What's the story here? Why all these tractors? Why all these people hanging around? Well, the, the tractors were there to collect their share of the annual coal supply, which was Glenlight Shipping Company were delivering to the island. You see. So bringing mm. the the crossover, it was simply hitching yeah. a ride on the normal yes. coal delivery. Yes, that, that, that's correct. Mm. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had to be ready so that. Um, when the when the the the, the puffer was re due to sail, then you know, we had to be have everything ready and organised for that. So um, these local islanders. These these are local islanders. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm not sure just who's who. I mean, this is one of the one of the problems. But you know, most of the, the families would be represented on that occasion because I mean, this was a, a an event. Um, the arrival of the <laughs> annual coal supply. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, the cross is on the top, so the cross yes, has got yeah. to come off it's first. It's got to come off it? first. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Were you having? Mm. Did you have to wait for the tide to get to a certain yes. state to get the? Uh, yes, that's right. Yes, it had to be done at a certain state of the tide, mm -hmm. and it could only be unloaded. You know, the uh, the, the puffer is a flat-bottomed boat mm -hmm. designed ideally for just uh, beaching. Gosh, that's a lot of coal. Yes, yeah, yeah. so I mean, it's to keep the islanders going for a year. Yeah. Uh, so yes, it is a lot of coal. Yes, uh huh. And I see our cross was placed on top. So that's quite a challenge. I mean, I guess the discussion here is how to get it out of the boat. Am I right? Yeah. Is that what well, of course, it was the Derek Crane and the puffer mm. was, was 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 instrumental in that. Mm. 
And it's obviously mm. very fragile. It's been very well, carefully wrapped yes, up. Yes, yes. Well, we're, we're frightened it might come to any harm, you mm. see. Although we did have a spare up our sleeves, but... Yes, that yeah. was a good idea, making a second copy, just They're in case. Very <laughs> sensible, yes, mm. yes. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were very, very sensible. So there were two concrete ones made, and then there were, uh, I think, one or two uh, fiberglass ones made, because there's one in the Royal Museum of Scotland, I believe. There is, yes, you're right. And I don't know if we're... There must be a more than one, but I, I don't th think I ever heard how many. Yeah, several copies were made. But I think there were several fiberglass ones, yes, yes. Oh, that looks... Yeah. <laughs> 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 what were people saying when this was happening? <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> was that all? <laughs> well, hopefully. And I think, well, it's maybe just as well that the film was silent. Yeah. So it's safely mm. on the back of the tractor. Yes, yes. All very precarious looking, some of it, but it's, you know, everybody was, well, it just went so smoothly, you know, it was, it was remarkable. Uh, there were very few serious hitches, apart from the, the saga of the concrete mixer. So turning up at the Abbey. Mm. So this, yes. scaffold, this is all your scaffolding that's, that's come from our, sc our scaffolding, we, we, yeah, we brought that with us. Mm -mm. And I'm assuming that this first bit of scaffolding, this is to do with simply just getting all those concrete pieces off the back yes. of the tractor, isn't Correct, it? Correct, yeah. yes, and getting them on, onto the site. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, that's then hauling some of the pieces into place. Oh, you got a good view there. You can see how ho that the, the hollow inside of the shaft. Because that's important, isn't it? They're going to be y yes, yes. Later on, we're yes. going to see them insert some metal rods up that. That's right. There were some stainless steel rods went up uh, to, pr to provide the, 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 the reinforcing. So although we can't see yes. it, the mm. cross is actually really strong, I strong, isn't it? Yes. And yes. supported by that. Yeah. Those metal rods. Yes. yes. <laughs> John Scott yeah. waving. What's all that timber for? Hmm? Oh, that's the timber from the packing. Y yes, yeah, yes, uh -huh, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. like John's cross -like. yes, was it, it was all obviously very well wrapped mm. up so as to avoid any serious damage. I don't think there was any damage at all, actually. It was remarkably good from that point of view. Uh, a good one of Remo there. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. And Joe the foreman. So on the ground were those r r their roles yes. very obvious? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And your mother can, your mother yes. helping out. Yes, my father. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. So was your father worried about it? He looks, qu looks fairly relaxed about this. Did he? Did it oh, seem like? Well, I think he realised that you know the, 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 the work was in good hands mm -hmm. because the, you know the, I say the, the, the three men were hand picked. Um, and those were three men who had worked together previously, had they? Yes, I think they mm -hmm. had come together on, on other projects. I'm sure they had, in mm -hmm. fact. But they all worked extremely well with each other, and that was perhaps the secret to some extent mm -hmm. of their success. Um, that's just the, um, the Where did the you base. all stay when you were working on the project? Um, the men stayed in the, in the Abbey. Uh, and we stayed in the Colombo Hotel, mm -hmm. um, which in hindsight was perhaps a bit of a mistake because the, the, the three men were very well looked after in the <laughs> Abbey. Um, I'm afraid the Colombo Hotel was not very well known at that stage for the, the quantity of the, of the food. Um, <laughs> I, c I kid you not, because uh, on, on the Friday night we were very glad, my parents and I, um, to accept an invitation from the McPhails and Blockhouse uh, for an excellent supper. <laughs> 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 so here, yes, yes. sorry, hmm? you, so you, you went to the McPhails for your excellent supper. Yeah, we, had a, we had a supper, yes, that's right, yes, and we were entertained in the, in the Abbey on at least a couple of occasions uh, for lunch. This was by the yeah, Iona for, for community. The community. Yes, yeah, that's right. That's yes, right. yes. Yeah. So, what's yes. this? What, what's this frame structure that we're looking at now? 
There's a metal frame. Is this part of the basal structure of the, the foundation? Yes, th th that's the reinforcing mm -hmm. um, for the for the foundation. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what that's what that is. It's the reinforcing rods for the for, for the foundation, <laughs> and these would be tensioned in due course once the course had been put put up. Um, they were they were tensioned to keep them well, keep them in position. Um, I think that part two thing is just because my original film was in two sections. Yeah. Ah, the concrete mixer. Now it's people looking, having to push that rather hard. Did it actually work at all? No. No, <laughs> no so it, never, it never did a hand's turn. And, I say, and if I had ever got round to, to making a, a commentary, I was going to uh, include a wee skit of a, a funeral march uh, for, <laughs> that, for that wee, wee bit <laughs> when we're going up, uh, the, up the street of the dead. Yeah. Uh, just to cover that, that <laughs> bit, but uh, I never actually got round to that. But so it all had to be mixed by hand, all the concrete? Yeah, all the concrete were had to be mixed by hand, yeah. yes. And, that, and that's what the, what the men were busy doing at that yeah. point. And of course you're, you're working against the clock because you're trying to get this done. Well, presumably you knew you wanted to get it done by Friday. Yes, well, that, 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 was, the, that was the deadline. I mean, mm. we, we had to have this finished before Judy's wedding. And was the mm. and was mm. the Duchess of Argyle's funeral? That was already that yeah that was on that, the, that was on the Friday morning. Yeah, uh, that was on the Friday morning, and the wedding was in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so yes, we had to be finished by by the time by the time the, the funeral the, the wedding took place. Mm. So yes. the rods uh -huh. that your father mm. and um, jo yeah, John Scott are working on. That's the rods there that are going into place. Uh, so these rods yeah. are actually inside the concrete yes, cross. Yes, th yes, they are. I mean, they're mm. th there's Keith Edwards. Um, yes, th these are th these are being put in um, as part of the, the, the reinforcing. So they go mm. vertically yeah. up the inside. Right, right of the up cross. the inside, right up to the top. Yes. Uh -huh, so they're uh -huh. secured at the top and then yes. tightened and at the. And, uh, yes, that's right. And the they top. were they were tensioned. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that was a sort of, as I understand it, that was a critical part of the design to make it. A the, the cross withstand yes. the wind. That's right, yes, mm. and the engineer has guaranteed it for a thousand years. <laughs> 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 That's quite a claim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, yeah. indeed. There's a few so other people helping out. It looks like you've got some locals mm. or members of the Iona mm. community to help out. I think we probably did from time yeah. to time. Yes, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised, mm. actually. But everybody took a very keen interest in what was going on. It's, it was something unusual, most unusual. Yeah. Mm -mm. And there's there two ladies are. at the bottom. One's your mother, and who's who's the other that lady? That was a Miss Colchester, who was just like ourselves. She was she was a visitor, and she took a keen interest in what was being done. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, if I could lay my hands on them, I have got a set of photographs which uh, she took. Of the erection of, of the cross. Of the erection, oh. yes, yes. There's, a, there's an album of photographs somewhere. It'd be lovely to see the uh, And that's the, uh, that's just the the, f the foundations, the, um, the the reinforcing on the foundations that you're seeing. But there. you say just the foundations, but obviously those yes. foundations were absolutely getting them right. Was absolutely critical yes. for yes. everything that yes. went on uh -huh. top. So much preparation. Well, you, you there was a shot it. there with somebody with a spirit level, because mm. uh, there were you. Know, John John Scott was meticulous. Everything had to be spot on. Mm -hmm. Well, it had to last a thousand years. It'll that's <laughs> right, yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> His reputation depended upon it. <laughs> what did John Scott normally do? And this must have been a very unusual project for yeah, him. Yeah, well, he was a, st he's a structural engineer um, by profession. He worked with um, Scottish Special Housing Association and with Livingston Development Corporation for a number of years. Yeah, I love the way that mm. a bit of the foundation of the original cross is being used to secure <laughs> the lifting the rope <laughs> for lifting the new shaft. <laughs> yes, a little extra purchase doesn't yeah. do any harm. So yeah. here they're, they're yeah. lifting the concrete yeah. shaft, right. put it in place, yes, and they're yes. going to, what, is this where the rods come in? Yes, well, the rods go up through the middle, you see. Yeah. Yes, the rods were fed up through the middle. So they're securely and attached at the bottom and they're yes, fed up. Yes, and then the securely attached at the top as well. Yeah. Yes. See the men doing all the hard yes. work while everybody else yes, has yes. I mean, lies well around. I mean, that's, it had all to be done using traditional methods, you see. Um, lack of space, quite apart from anything yeah. else. There wasn't all that much room to work. So the rods have gone up and then... Yeah. 
Oh, what, the shaft is then lowered? The, the shaft is then, yeah, being put into position. I'm not sure what weight was in these sections, but they were, you know, they must have been heavy enough. Yeah. And the glue, do you know anything about the glue they were using? Oh, it was an epoxy resin that was used. Ah. I see John yeah. Scott making sure it's all in the right place. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, yes, uh -huh, yeah. Yes, this is a night shift. So, ah, yes. oh, you mentioned the night shift, so why, why was there a night shift? Because we were behind schedule. Um, you know, the boat arrived um, on the Monday, on uh, the Monday morning. Uh, it should have arrived much sooner. Oh, sorry, arrived on the Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. It should have arrived on the Monday, uh, but it didn't. You see, so we were somewhat behind schedule, and mm. I say it was we were, <laughs> we were under some degree of pressure <laughs> to get finished before the wedding. Yeah. Uh, so that's why there was a night shift on the Thursday night. That's dedication now. So the the crosses, the shaft, sorry, the cross heads on the top, and yep. this is what tightening the wires. Yes, or? yes, tensioning the wires. Tensioning yes. the wires, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Actually, saw that gadgetry yes. we saw earlier. It's something to do with tightening the wires. Yes, isn't it? yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, that's what. That's what they were doing. They were te tensioning the wires to keep the keep the thing together and keep it to, well, keep it from blowing over. Oh. Yes. Yes. You get a sense of just how tall it yes. is, don't you? Yes. Ah. ah. Right, coming to take away the concrete mixer. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, in disgrace, I'm afraid, <laughs> yes. Mm -mm. So, I mean, this was done at a phenomenal pace. Mm, sorry? I mean, this was done at a phenomenal pace. It was done very quickly. It's well, I mean, we were, I say we were behind time. So, mm. yes, it was done within two or three days. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the, that's the crest, isn't it? The, pe the piece to go on the top? Yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the only bit that's not in geometrical patterns. It's, um, I mean, I was sure, is it? There's some kind of beast, or rather, I think, that's on the top. Now, you've previously identified this gentleman as being, is it Keith Warden? Keith yes, Edwards? Keith Edwards. Yeah. Yes, he was the warden of the... So, uh, yes. wh what's happened here? I think you've described this as the topping, topping this out? This is a topping out ceremony. Yes, yes. Wh what is a topping out ceremony? Um, basically, just putting the, the, the top piece into its place. And I say there were a number of coins that we all contributed to. Well, that's the funeral. That's the it, May Margaret, Duchess of Argyle's funeral that took place on the Friday morning. The, the topping out ceremony basically just, um, well, I say putting the lid on it, if you like. And is that and traditional in all building works, then, yeah, that you would have a topping yes, out ceremony yes. for the last? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, this is. Yes, it's a very, very common thing, yes. In fact, as a story told, my grandfather, um, we built the chimney for the Portobello power station in the 1930s. And um, we wanted to claim the record as being the tallest brick chimney in Scotland, you see. Uh, so there's a story that he went back a wee while later and added another <laughs> two or three <laughs> courses of brickwork to the top of this thing. <laughs> That's true. That is true, I believe. <laughs> Now you mentioned earlier on coins, but here's a tin and coins yes. are being put in to yes. the tin. Yes. So yes. what's mm -hmm. this all about? Oh, this is just something for the f for posterity, I suppose. Um, if anybody ever came to take this thing apart, which heaven forbid they would do, at least not in our lifetime anyway, um, they might find some coins of the day. So it's a time capsule. Yes, a kind of time capsule. Yes, that's the word. Yes, yes. And the leather is that? J there's a piece of leather that's been put over the top of the, the yes. stone. Is that? Oh, and that's um, somebody wearing the leather. Is that normal? Uh, yes, I think it's a, again. It's just part of the, the to try and keep the damp out. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that John Scott, on a number of occasions, has re revisited the site and. 
and did what he felt he had to do to try and make sure that the thing was properly sealed round about. So this is making sure all the joints are yes, properly are sealed, absolutely yes, tight, yeah, so no yes, water can get into the structure. No water can get in, yeah. yes, uh -huh, yeah. And mm. rush the stainless steel rods. And that's the crest going on. Yes, yes, uh -huh, that's the, yes, the top, topping out ceremony. I don't know what exactly these um, creatures on the top are. I never, don't think I've ever come across that in any of my readings. So you mentioned two uh, funerals and weddings. So we've had yeah. two funerals, the, the concrete mixer and the yes, Duchess of and Argyle. Yes, and the Duchess of Argyle and, and the wedding, the one, the, well, Doody's wedding, which is, which is coming up. So were you, yes. were you guests at the wedding or did you? No, 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 no. We were just uh, bystanders. Mm -hmm. And is the, uh, are the team still working on the cross as everybody's arriving? Yes, yes, uh-huh, yes. Just finishing things off, yes, uh-huh. Nobody raised an eyebrow. It was all very, oh, well, we tried to be as discreet <laughs> as possible. But <laughs> 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 the work was basically finished by the time of the wedding. So you filmed mm. the wedding. Mm-hmm. That's Jane. And the minister, that's the, the, the uh, Reverend Harry Miller, I think. So I wonder he how was many the Iowan minister at that time. So I wonder how many people in Iona had their weddings filmed? I don't know. Um, maybe a remarkable number, actually, because mm -hmm. I think it's not an uncommon thing nowadays, especially. Oh, that's Charlie McPhail, I think. With a kilt. Aha. Uh -huh. That was your the friend of the family? Yes, mm -hmm. that's right, at McPhail's blockhouse, yes, mm -hmm. which was the big house on the corner as you come up the village street. Uh, I can almost hear the bagpipes. Mm. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure who the piper was. Um, I should know. He was a mole man. I think, was it, was it Lamont? Was it? I think Lamont. I don't know what his Christian name was. Uh. That's nice with the cross. <laughs> and actually, that's th I suppose that's yes. the first time or one of the first days that the shadow's been seen. Correct, in a while. yes, yes. Yeah. Because, mm. of course, the cross yeah. wasn't there before. That's right. Well, it hadn't been, anyway, for well, since McAllister er erected it, the original. And that's great, because yeah. you, you get some interesting shots of um, what's actually inside the, the basal structure, what's actually yes. holding the cross up. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, the bits that nobody sees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the base, some of it's the original stone, and some of it, this big block that's about to be lifted up, is a replacement stone. So was that yeah. procured for the project? Um, the stones laid round about the shaft um, were acquired by Historic Scotland, I think, or the, or the Ministry of Works, anyway, mm. as they were. Um, it's uh, somewhere from about Loch Sween, I think. Stuart Cruden did say, I think, at one time. Um, but the idea was to make the um, surroundings to the to the cross identical uh, uh, to what appears in Beveridge's photograph taken in the 1870s, 80s. So this Erskine Beveridge, Beveridge's photograph. So that record of what the monument looked like then before yes, McAllister that's, that's did his correct, repairs yes, to, yeah, to, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, the original yeah. stone. Yes. Now what's happening yeah. in the, here? Oh, that's the, that's the boys again. <laughs> that's me. Looks like the whole team. Yes. Well, it is. Yes. I think. Yes, I think that was the idea was to get 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 us all into it. Yes, well, I mean, I appeared only briefly because I was behind the camera most <laughs> of the time. I like to see the, the doves there. Yes. Because <laughs> there would have been a, a touch of realism <laughs> about it. <laughs> the Duke <laughs> up in the tower, they were they yes. presumably from yes. there. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Now, any idea who these gentlemen are? One of them looks like he might be Stuart, Stuart Cruden. I think it's possible, yes. I think we, yeah, that kind of light tweed. Yeah. I don't know who that. Are they inspecting what, what was done? Is that what's happening? Yes, I think that's probably what they're doing, casting a critical eye over <laughs> over the work. Mm. Yes. Is one of these Norman Robertson? I'm not sure. Maybe it is. 
because the Ministry of Works had had to give their approval for oh, the, yes. the oh, works yes. to yeah. take place. And that would be, that's why, that's why Stuart Cruden was there, of mm. course. They keep a watchful eye on the proceedings, mm -hmm. which he did. Dedication. So why, why did the cross get dedicated? Whose idea was that? I presume it was the idea must have come from the Church of Scotland. Mm. I would assume so. Mm, perhaps the cathedral trustees. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a list of those who were all present. Mm. But members of the company that's made it, local community, yes. cathedral trustees, yes. ancient monuments board. Yeah. Yes, I mean, I, I tried to include everybody, obviously. Mm. And people involved yes. in its con construction as well, and funding. Yes. That wee bit of the film, of course, was added later on. When I mm. tried to make a kind of story of it. So you, 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 you came back a, a fortnight later for the dedication yes, service? Yes, we did, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yep. And everybody's coming out of the church, so was there a, is it a Sunday? Was there a normal church service? Is this just added on e to a normal service? I or? think it was a normal service, yes, because I think that the tape that I, I've given you. Um, I think it's give it covers the, the end of the church service. Mm. Um, okay, yeah, yes, there's, there's a wee bit of the, of the end of the church service, isn't that? And then the actual dedication itself by, by Dr. Longmuir. So everybody's sort of gathering around the, yes, the replica. Yes, yep. Uh, there you are. Oh, that was me. Mm. <laughs> yes. There's the minister. Yes. Yes, that was quite an occasion. And we all um, congregated in the refectory afterwards for our lunch. Yes, it seems to have gathered quite a big crowd. So, did many of the uh, the, the local island community come along? I know? think they did. Yes, yeah. I, I'm sure they did. Because we wanted to know what people thought. Yes, there was, about there was it a lot of local interest. Mm -hmm. And mm. how? Wh what form did that local interest take? Well, I think they they, they came up, uh, came mm. in passing and mm. just you know to, just to see what we were doing. And <laughs> there was a fair lot of local curiosity. Yeah. Um, you know, Neil MacArthur and Judy McFadgen and um, well, several others as well. I think any, anybody who could. Well, see, I'm in that one again, so <laughs> my father must have taken that bit. And what about the talk in the hotel in the evenings? What were people were people talking about the cross there? Probably so, yes. Mm. I, would, I, would, I would think so, yes, yes. <laughs> if we were there for the, well, for the weekend, I think... Did we come back on the, must have come back on the Monday. Because the, the dedication was on the Sunday morning. So we must have come home on the, on the Monday. Is that John Laurie? Yes. I think it is. I think it's John Laurie talking to your dad. Yes, yes. And Ian Scott. I'm not sure who that gentleman is. Oh, oh that one, come to think of it. Who is, oh. Yes, it would be lovely to find out more about all the people. Yes, who it, it who would. Here. Yes, it most certainly would, yeah. I think that's Norman Robertson, is it, with the with Yes, the I, think, I think that's Mrs. Borthwick. So now we're back seeing more work being done on the, the base. Was, did it need a bit more work after the dedication yes, service? Yep, is mm -hmm. that what's happening? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the ancient monuments people were back at it, you see, because um, the, the stone um, for which is laid on the, at the bottom of the shaft, uh, that came from Loch Sween. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's something that Stuart Cruden and Norman Robertson organised. Oh, oh, Stuart, Stuart Cruden. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> With his briefcase. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right, yes. <laughs> and it yes. What, what's the red boat? Oh, that's the, the ferry, uh, the tender for the for the King George. Um, these, there were four of these red boats and they shuttled back and forward bringing the passengers off and the one the King George. And they did the same thing when the, when the, the George visited Staffa. Uh, so that two of the red boats went away out 
uh, and uh, shuttled the passengers back and forward from, from Staffa. And the people who ran the boats were these island people? Yes, they were, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how mm. nude, I mean, did the cross look very new? I mean, how it must have been this kind of very clean concrete. How well, it was, yes. And, and in fact, I think it's been cleaned up again. I, I thought last summer that there was an awful lot less lichen on it. Mm -hmm. You know, when I saw it, well, I, was, I was on Iona last July, and I thought there was an awful lot, you know, it looked awfully clean. Yeah. And I was rather disappointed in that, because uh, it, it looked authentic with all the, the, the growth on it. Uh-huh. Yes, I know. I don't know if any work's been I done. I mean, very, yet. very few people actually, I think, appreciate that it is concrete. But how did people react when they first saw it? So all those people who c turned up, say, for the dedication, or who saw it being erected how are they i think they were impressed i mean i was impressed my parents certainly in, were, were impressed and I, I think that would be the kind of general feeling yes everybody uh, very much liked it and they weren't i'm not aware of ever having heard any criticism of, of that aspect of it i just wondered how they responded to it being concrete because it would have been brand new concrete at that stage and whether that affected how they I don't appreciate it at well, all. I'm not aware that it did. Yeah. I'm not aware that it did. You know, and it has settled down, I say, with, um, with all the, the, the growth on it. It, uh, it looks as if it wasn't natural. Well, it looks as if it was natural. Mm -hmm. And it's true enough, mm. a lot of people don't recognise that it's... Yes, they don't. That, that, that's right, yes. I mean, I have... Or not original. I have tried on the few occasions that I've actually been an Iona, you know, I've, I have spoken to people and, you know, a lot of them are not really much interested. Mm -hmm. They come and they, they see it and, well, they go away again. <laughs> 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 so they don't really, I don't think a lot of them perhaps appreciate, they certainly don't appreciate the amount of work that went into it, I'm sure of that. Yes, because there's a big backstory, isn't there? I mean, just even looking at that film and seeing just how much is hidden from from yes, you. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, just yeah. how complex, a yeah. technically it was, let alone well, all the other right, aspects yes, of the yes. story. I mean, I don't know an awful lot about that aspect of it because I came into the picture rather kind of late on. But you know the people who were involved in its creation, and you have a sense of what how. Yes, how well, I, I, their pride I, I, that, in that's, it, or that, that's what they right. thought so about it. I suppose there's a degree of continuity there. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And what sort of things did they say about it? What were the, how did they? Well, uh, looking back on it, I would say that the general impression was very favourable. I see. I don't recall ever having heard any outright criticism mm. criticism of it. I was thinking so though about the people who were involved in making it. I mean, how did they feel about making it? Uh, well, it was a, it was something. It was unique. It was uh, you know, something none of us had ever been involved in before. It was we were making a bit of history, <laughs> uh, and you know, I, I think that you know, perhaps as much as anything else. We were doing something that was out of the ordinary. And did people when would you ever otherwise expect to be involved in a project of that kind? So what difference do you think then it made for the people who were involved in this pro project? To be involved in something that you, you're, you're describing as being very special to them, but what was the, what difference did that make to them? I don't really know if I can answer that. <laughs> mm. so you talk mm. about John Scott coming to visit mm. it and check up on it. Yes, yes. I mean, that's above the call of duty. You know, he was paid to produce it. But, but, that, but that, was jo that was John Scott. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was meticulous in everything that he did. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the most likeable things, I think, to, to my mind. He was a confounded nuisance from time to time. But uh, I've no doubt my father probably, <laughs> but, and yet they got on extremely well with yeah. each other, you know, as far as I was aware. I mean, I, th I think there's no doubt that they did. Um, 
John had every confidence in my father and, and, and uh, my father likewise. 